Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing this GMC 3500 Dually. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Provo GMC for giving me some time with this truck. This particular one is still available for sale for the time being, so if you're interested, I'll include a link to their website in the description down below. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for Craig. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car brand guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is the new Duramax, which is a 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs with this are 470 horsepower and then 975 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. And also, I was going to take this through a car wash, but then I realized that I wouldn't fit because it's a dually. So, yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, you guys can see the cab lights there at the top, and then we have the normal HD design here with the hood, and then the venting there as well, which is really cool. And then down below, we got the new style of headlights with the daytime running lights. You got some fog light action down below. Parking sensors here on the front end. Obviously, massive chrome front grille. Camera below the GMC logo, and then we've got tow hooks there at the bottom. And when you put it all together, this truck just looks so cool. I'm a big fan of GMC styling. Coming around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 235, 80, 18 in the front and over in the rear. And you guys can see here with the wheels, I think these are some of the nicer looking wheels that I've seen on a dually, but most of it's just this little cap that's been added onto the end. And then if you guys don't know, the GMC dually still has independent front suspension. 3500 right there, and then look at the fender flares here, and then we've got our Duramax badge on the side. And you can see chrome there on the mirror cap, also the door handles as well. And then Denali HD down below with our fixed side steps, and of course we also have the bedside step as well. Although this uses independent front suspension, we still have leaf springs in the back end with a solid rear axle. And then here is your full side view with the truck. You guys can see with the longer bed that you get with the dually. And then here's a quick look at the key fob. We have our unlock function, or lock function, remote start, the drop down for the tailgate, and then the GMC logo there on the back. And then popping into the rear, you guys can see we've got the fifth wheel prep set up here, and then we do have bed liner from the factory, and we've got some LED bed light action as well as a power outlet here in the bed. And this one has the multi pro tailgate. So, gotta click this a little bit harder apparently. There we go. <laughs> It turns into a little uh, step there. That's what that handle is for so you can access the bed. And then getting it up is actually super easy because all you gotta do is just kind of put that all together. Of course, we got the marker light here in the rear and then we have the new tail lights, which I'm a huge fan of. And then we've got the bumper steps here with the giant exhaust tip to signify it's a diesel. And then you guys can see parking sensors there. We've got the receiver hitch. We'll talk about towing capacities in a little bit. But here is the rest of the view, and I think the GMC does a really good job with their dualies. Um, so does Ram as well. It's only Ford that really kind of makes things wonky because their bedsides are like attached after the fact, whereas this, you can tell that it's, you know, one piece, right? Which is cooler. Now popping inside, this one is a Denali. So we've got really nice leather trim here. You can see the wood trim and the cross stitching down below, and then more stitching and piping down below that. And then here's a quick look at the seats again. Really nice leather here, you can see perforated. And then you've got the storage there and then perforated all down the rest of the center. And then you do have more storage underneath the seats and then a flat loading floor. Now legroom here in the back is really good. We've got a little storage pocket here, cup holders, we've got heated seats with the vents and some USB action. And it looks like this comes with a GMC toolbox, which is actually really cool. And then we of course have cup holder, armrest, and then a headroom back here. Now taking a look at the front door panel, same thing with the trim, then you can see the wood trim down below. I've always found it interesting that this is hard touch here, this little insert, but anyways, you can see with the leather trim here and the stitching, all of our window controls front to our automatic. We've got our mirror adjustments, the mirrors do extend out, memory seat functionality, and then you guys can see with the mirrors you do have blind spot. Now first off, here's our payload capacity sticker. So we've got 5,178 pounds of payload. And then if we drop down below, we have our gross vehicle weight rating of 14,000 pounds. Conventional tow rating is 20,000 pounds. And then if you do a gooseneck, you're 31,000 pounds with this truck. Here's a quick look at the front seat. Again, Denali, and then you guys can see perforated 
all down the center, and then we've got our power adjustments here on the side. And then you get your regular hood latch release down there, and then we've got our light controls here, and then you got stuff like the cargo light. Drive line select, we do have four-wheel auto as well as four-wheel high and four-wheel low, two-wheel high as well, of course. And then your drive mode select with your trailer tow mode, and then parking brake control right there, and then that is for the heads-up display. So here's a quick look at the steering wheel. We've got really nice trim all around. Rated controls in the back, controls for the center stack. And then you guys can see Denali logo. We've got our cruise control, heated steering wheel button on the steering wheel. And then your regular turn signal windshield wiper stock. And we have a good old fashioned column shifter. We've got this full digital gauge cluster here, front and center. Um, first off, when you pop into the tow mode, it'll just show a little towing depiction. And then you guys can see there's also an off-road mode as well and then obviously the normal mode so they keep things pretty simple but i do like the overall look of the gauge cluster and then you can see a bunch of different bits of information on the truck as well there with little menus so we do have a 360 camera system which i think is really important in a pickup truck like this um, so first off like it's huge so this will definitely help out with parking um, but also connecting to a trailer or fifth wheel so it's nice that it has all the different camera views and it's good that the resolution is pretty solid as for the rest of the infotainment screen, you guys can see the shortcut bar here on the side, and we've got the main screen here. We do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and you got the little auxiliary part of it as well. And then of course, we do have a physical button here for the volume control, and then also the home screen button. Got our giant engine stop start button, dual zone climate controls. We have heated and ventilated seats, and then you guys can see we've got our diesel exhaust brake, lane departure, parking sensors, tailgate drop down, hazard lights, stability control, and then we've got some USB action right there. And then look, Trailer brake controls, which is nice. Some cup holder action, and then you guys can see Denali there in the center. Good storage space. We also have a wireless phone charging pad. And then taking a look at the dash, you guys can see really nice trim here at the top. And then we got like the fade on the wood, which I am a huge fan of. Wish more automakers do that. Sticky glove box, um, but you guys can see got good storage in there. And then yeah, also down below as well. And then up top we do have the camera rear view mirror, and then we have a power setting rear window. And then you guys can see with the uh, very top, apparently I got butterfingers today, but we got a sunroof as well. So kind of hard to see the windows ticker, but 2024, 3500, Denali, Dually. Um, base MSRP is 76,000, Duramax, 9400 bucks, Denali, Reserve package, 2700. Let's see, we've got Scooseneck added to it, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, anyways, after all options, 92,000 or just over 92,000 is the MSRP. And... This is a big truck, geez. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors. Throughout the rest of the rear and well, Actually, I don't need that, but let us set off here in this dually. Um, this is not my first time driving a new uh, GM dually because I've driven the Chevy 3500, but I wanted to get some time with the Denali because this is supposed to be, you know, more luxury. So, you know, the goal is to kind of see if it is, in fact, more luxury. And first off, I will say um, seats, Pretty comfortable. Uh, GM seats are on the firmer side. Doesn't mean they're uncomfortable. They're just a little bit uh, firmer. So hopefully that makes sense to you. And then on top of that, good power so far. It's a, it's a big beast, but it's not it's not difficult to manage to be honest. So I think that part of it's good too. Steering's good. That's one big benefit of this over the Ford and the Ram because it has independent front suspension. Steering's more direct and so it, this truck I feel like is easier to drive compared to a Ford or Ram dually. So I guess if you're uh, scared of bigger pickup trucks then this might be the one to go for because it's again like I said a little bit easier to drive overall. Yeah, suspension's pretty compliant. Again, um, you know, comparing to Ford and Ram, Ram's definitely the roughest in this segment when it comes to, like, dually trucks. But, you know, between this and the Ford, the Ford's actually pretty good, even though it still has a solid front axle. Um, but I, I'd say that this one might be a, just a little bit more comfortable. 
uh, with the overall suspension feel. So I think that's a big plus for this truck. Uh, what's not a big plus is when you take right-hand turns and you gotta, you gotta wait because this truck's just long enough and just wide enough that it it's pretty much guaranteed to almost go, go into the other lane a little bit, not a lot. Actually, no, it didn't at all. So now it's got, it's, like I said, this thing's sharp. I impressed myself, I thought, because usually with dualies, you almost always kind of have to like, just very lightly, but like this, no, it, it actually handled it super well. I'm impressed with that, uh, the, the tight turning with this. Um, so to sum things up here with this truck, and let's see again if I can, yeah, this thing turns really tight. <laughs> oh, it's fast too, man, it's fast. Um, I really like this. Um, if so, here's, here's a good way for me to put this. If you were going to daily drive this truck, I think that this is the one to go for. Um, I do really like the Ram and the Ford. I like the power of the Ford. I like the interior of the Ram probably the most still, but this new GMC interior is really nice actually. Um, but the biggest thing is this is just, it's so comfortable and it's easier to drive. And so like, yeah, if you had to, if you had to daily drive this, then I would rather have this over the Ram the Ford because I feel like it's just a little bit, it's a little bit easier to maneuver and it's just more comfortable overall. But let me know what you guys think about the GMC Dually.